All right, so I gave this kind of like a fresh, you know, I used a just a standard Sharpie and gave this a fresh set of lines. And the reason that I'm doing that is uh, so I can see exactly where the file marks are going. Also, as you can tell, I have this in a clamp um, and then I have some supports uh, just so I can have and repeat the same angle on both sides of the blade. So I'm gonna take the bastard file um, and I'm gonna start with trying to bring back these cheeks because I think that's the main problem. Um, and then once you know the lines disappear from back here, then I'm gonna try to take that angle and bring it towards the tip until I don't see uh, any, you know, this is nice and polished right now, the blade itself. So if I'm still seeing polish, uh, polished blade that means that I still haven't hit that spot so you'll see me come by with uh, the sharpie from time to time and just you know make sure that those marks are consistent um, just until when I go one stroke across I'm taking off all the sharpie marks or at least most of them Here, I'm going to do a few passes with the file, and you're going to see most, if not all, of these sharpie marks go away. And I'm not changing the angle of the file at all to make them disappear. I'm keeping it consistent. That's exactly what you want across. You want a nice, consistent angle all the way to the tip of the blade. See, all empty. So there's, I mean, there's little specks here and there. That's not a big deal. Most of that will get cleaned up um, when we bring our stone. But as you could tell, this is how you know you've properly sharpened an axe. You got a magnet afro going on. It's pretty cool. I might put them on my desk. All right. So now, now we have our profile all set. This Lansky stone, you could use other stones if you have them. Even just a standard whetstone, you could use it. Um, basically, it's this is called the puck because it looks like a hockey puck. And the darker part is the coarse stone. The lighter part is the fine stone. The reason, one, first off, that we use this stone is if you look at the actual profile of your axe, there's a ton of just deep scratches in there. Now, with the coarse puck, we're taking those real steep uh, cuts from the file and we always want to go forward and around now i'll warn you doesn't make the most pleasant noise but as you're going forward and around you want to try to maintain that same angle and if you have to use the sharpie trick that's fine but basically you're going up and down in a circle pattern and what you're doing with that whole process is removing those scratches really sanding them down to a finer pattern and then once you think that you have it about as fine as you can get with the coarse side you're going to flip it over to the fine side and that's going to bring those scratches even closer to being uh polished it's real important to keep your fingers out of the way Just kind of watch as you go back and forth see where those scratch patterns are not So as I'm coming up and I'm sharpening, if you're too far back, then you're gonna be sharpening too far back on the ax. If you're right up, basically what I do is I start sharpening until that gap closes. Now a trick you could do is if you put a little bit of water on it, you'll see them, you'll see the water kind of splash up on the edge of the blade. And that's how you know that you're actually hitting it you're hitting a consistent angle across the entire blade. If you're not seeing water or if you're using an oil stone, if you're not seeing that splash up on the edge, then it's likely you don't have the correct angle. Another way to see is just follow, like look at the scratch pattern and see if you're, if you're too far forward, if you're too far back, if you're just hanging in the middle. Um, really, this, this whole process is for this whole part of the blade. This is the final edge, as you could tell. I'm still using these Sharpie marks. It's nice and sharp. Those big scratches from the file are gone. As you could tell, there's slight, like a slight swirling pattern, and that's just from the stone. Um, now, one thing you might feel, just go on a, either side and flick upwards. You might feel a burr on there. All you really have to do is take a leather strop, 
go up you know against it just to kind of knock that burr off and then this thing should be razor 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 sharp so this is exactly what i wanted to do with this uh this tomahawk um reprofile it and make sure that those cheeks were nice and down and that everything was nice and polished and smooth so that this will perform a lot better than it has in the past i hope you guys enjoy this um and i hope you kind of use these tips to sharpen your axes i'll talk to you guys next time